fresh flavors and smart techniques. His strongest weapons. Seasonal spices and organic produce. His favorite ingredients. From the streets of Delhi to the dining rooms of London. From eclectic gourmet to everything healthy. He's the culinary wanderer who's here to make you fitter, faster and fuel your brain. Presenting Chef Risham Sachdeva. Around 7.7 .7 billion people in the world have one thing in common. The thing that makes us think, feel, hope, heal. Makes us human. Weighing just 1.5 kgs, having the ability to process 400 billion bits of information in one second. The hotspot hub of all things rational and emotional, factual and fictional. This is our motherboard, our brain. Presenting fit and fast, fuel your brain. I'm Rishim and I'm extremely excited to bring you our all new show. Fit and Fast, the healthy hub to fuel your brain. And here is your brain teaser for the day. Look at the picture and answer the question. Your time starts now. That's it, time's up. So, what's your answer? Blue, purple, pink. If your answer was yellow, then you have a very sharp mind. And you know, right, that health reflects our lifestyle. And for a healthy body, you really need to keep a healthy brain. So, when we talk about the brain, what comes first? Memory, yadash. If I look at gulab jamun, I will um, think about my mom because she makes the best gulab jamun in the world. I forgot that it was maths exam and I studied for my English exam. My father's birthday. Yeah, mostly I forget. I remember the things which are necessary to be remembered. Festivals and all, I don't remember anything. Pretty often actually, it's usually birthdays, anniversaries. Now, as you all know that the brain is like the hot spot hub. But what exactly does the brain store? And to get all those answers right, I'm going to call up my neurologist friend, Dr. Sankalp. Hey, how are you? Hi, Rishim. Long time. Doc, today, I need to understand that what exactly is the connection of brain and memory? Like, how does this all work? Kahan pe kya store hota hai? Well, your memory definitely depends on your brain. First, we should know that there are three types of memory. The immediate memory, short-term memory, and the long-term memory. Immediate memory is the one which lasts for a few seconds. This comes from the frontal lobe of the brain. Short-term memory lasts for a few minutes to hours, like what you ate for breakfast in the morning. This comes from the temporal lobe of the brain. Long-term memory is the one which stays for years, like what you did on your last birthday or your school memories. This comes from the temporal lobe of the brain, but it also comes from various other areas of the brain. Great, Doc. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping us out. No problem, Rishim. You're welcome. See you. Bye, 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 bye. So, what's in store for us today? Let's head to the kitchen. My brain is working over hard now, yaar. I have to give you some really brilliant recipes because we are on a journey to get fit and fast together. Aaj ka super food, eggs hai. Did you know, eggs, the tiny little things, have so much choline in them, actually help send transmitters to your brain. Can you believe that? And we're gonna make an outstanding French toast creme brulee. You have had creme brulees before, you've had French toast before. We're gonna combine them together, make a breakfast and a dessert together for your perfect morning fix. So, obviously, very carefully, break your egg in half. Do not let your yolk drop. Just one shell full of yolk. There we go, goes in. So the sugar goes in. Go on a very, very medium to high speed to cream them. So you just wanna emulsify them together. Eggs, they are so versatile. So tasty, you can use them in everything. Breads, scrambled eggs, desserts, you name it. There is always a way to use the eggs. So, I will start off with a very low heat. Cream goes in. And now I'm gonna start working with my vanilla pot. Just start to slice in the center. Do not go all the way through. It will be very difficult to take the pot out. So, just go very, very, very slowly. And with back of the knife, now what we do is literally just scrape this out. And that goes straight in the pan. 
cook it very, very slowly. So guys, this seems pretty ready. Put this in the eggs very, very, very gently. When the eggs are hot now, or maybe a tiny little warm, I'm gonna put them back in the pan and cook them a little bit. Continue to cook this at the lowest heat possible. It would take anywhere between 15 to 17 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna start working on my brioche. So guys, a pretty looking buttered brioche. This is made with milk. I'm gonna slice it and then we're gonna fry it. Just look at this texture. Go a little more with that. And I'm gonna start toasting the bread. The little butter. Wait for this to turn golden brown. You gotta be very quick with this, huh? It will go from brown to black in like seconds. You can see the golden edges on the side. So that means the fat in the butter is just about to get burned. Now I will go in. I'll let that all soak in. It's a perfect looking toast. Bang on taste. My brulee also looks it's nearly done. I'm just gonna keep this on the side and finish up the brulee. Just gonna cook it for another two to three minutes. You guys, it's getting nice and thick. So now the custard is cooked and the toast is ready. We're gonna start to plate up. Gonna pick up this toast, super crunchy right now. Dip it in the custard, turn it around. And that will just go sit on the plate. I'm gonna soak all that beautiful goodness in. I'm gonna go in with a little brown sugar. So I'm just gonna burn the sugar on top. The custard is at the bottom. Then you have really soft but toasty bread. So just imagine the flavors, the crusty sugar. That is perfect bite for this morning breakfast. With some berries. Whatever you have at home, that's absolutely fine. And a lot of good icing sugar. You go take a quick recap. In a bowl, add egg yolks and sugar. Whisk it till it's creamy. Heat a saucepan. Add cream and vanilla pod. Mix it well. Now gently pour the mixture into eggs and whisk it. Add the mixture back in the saucepan and let it cook on low flame for 15 to 17 minutes. Now cut the brioche bread into slices. In another pan, add butter and let it melt. Toast the slices of brioche bread until it turns brown from both the sides. Dip the toast in the custard and place it on the serving plate. Add brown sugar and brulee it using a blow Garnish with blueberries, icing sugar. Now your French toast creme brulee is ready. Guys, you're watching Fit and Fast. Don't forget to come back to fill your brain only on LF.